And joining us now in studio is I-24 News Culture Correspondent Maya Margit. Hey, Maya, how are you Hi. doing today? Good. Also with us is Culture Correspondent Daniel Campos. Hi, Maya. Daniel, it's such a good morning Maya. with you guys, or afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay. I answer to Maya as well. All right. So, Maya, um, now that we have the same name, sure. Uh, what, are, what are you going to present to us today? So I'm going to talk about one of the most famous artworks of the 20th century or ever. It's Marcel Duchamp's Fountain. Um, it's a urinal, basically. And, and this is art. It's art. It's an actual <laughs> urinal that Marcel Duchamp found. And in 1917, he signed it under a fake name called Armut, as you can see. He Armut? submitted. Yeah, it was a okay. fake name. He submitted it to an exhibition to the Society of Independent Artists, and they were supposed to accept any and all artwork submitted for the exhibition. That was the whole point of it. But the committee said, this is not art. And they had a big debate about it, and they ended up rejecting it. It was the only artwork that was rejected. And it sparked a huge debate about what is art, what isn't art. And uh, Marcel Duchamp revealed that it was actually his artwork, and he was very famous at the time. So then they changed their whole attitude towards it after they found out it was him. So wait, he just bought a urinal and put a name on it? He bought a urinal and he put a name on it. And this is art. And this was considered <laughs> revolutionary. Confused. This was revolutionary yeah. because back then you couldn't just take something off the street and say this is art. It changed the way people looked at things. He was the first person to say that the idea behind an artwork is more important than how it was made. So this is the whole, he's the forefather of conceptual art, which right nowadays it doesn't sound as revolutionary maybe, but back then in 1917, this changed everything. Everyone was debating whether it was art. Even today, people are still debating whether it is art or not, or if it's just a urinal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, it's, it's really interesting, uh, the yeah. stories you bring to us, Maya. But, you know, it, it is one of the most iconic pieces of the 20th uh, century. So what makes it that? I think it's because, as I said, it, it changed the focus of an artwork from what it, how it's made. It's not made out of paint, it's not made, it's not sculpture, mm -hmm. to the concept of a ready-made. He's the person who invented this concept of a ready-made. What is a ready-made? It's something you find off the street. You take it off the street and you give it a new meaning. And so Marcel Duchamp said that the idea of an artist is more important than the artwork itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and it's also inspired many other artists uh, to do similar things, right? Yeah, just last fall there was an exhibition at the Guggenheim in New York with a solid gold toilet. Uh -huh. It was a solid gold toilet. It had its own security guard. Uh, people would go in and use the toilet. It was functional. Uh, and it, it was very like popular. When, uh, People would take President, selfies with the toilet. Doesn't President Trump have a gold toilet? Uh, I think it was Erdogan, a Turkish president. Okay. I, I heard something. <laughs> or maybe it was, uh, it was the Ukrainian president. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But yeah, there were many different artists who uh, made this. There's the gold toilet. It uh -huh. was uh, very, very popular. People would take selfies with it. And I think the most important part of the legacy of this artwork is that it changed the way we see art, yeah. the way artists see art, and the, that, that's basically the most important thing. It made about it a real discussion. Maya, mm -hmm. thanks so much for this. Sure. Okay, we're going to turn to.